Osborne also invented two firefighting tools and uh, it had a trombone pump that they hooked on here to uh, squirt water on fire for mop up and uh, it could also be used for packing drinking water to the lookouts and the canvas bag it was a sweat bag that uh, allowed the water to stay cold so it was really an ideal uh, water bag for drinking water even or for firefighting with the pump on it. We'll show you the pump in another scene. Okay. He also invented the Adzai hazel hole with the uh, curved handle and, and a wide adz blade designed for firefighting and uh, this tool is used yet today as well as the backpack pump can. And we have here various forms of the hazel hole from all over the world. We have one from New Zealand, one from Spain. The famous Pulaski tool was invented right after the 1910 fires of Idaho that burned over a million acres in three days. They were the the biggest one single event since. But following the well during the during the fires uh, Ranger Ed, Ed uh, Ranger Ed Pulaski at Wallace, Idaho. Uh, story is well known how he he uh, rounded up his 20 men and forced them into a mine shaft to save them from the fire. And uh, at about the same time, his assistant Joe Holm was on the fires down in the St. Joe River and uh, when the fires made the big run he herded his crew onto a sandbar in the middle of the St. Joe River and they dug in and he saved all his men. Well after the fire they were going to receive a shipment the next spring of uh, seedlings to replant the forest and uh, uh, Pulaski uh, said to uh, Joe Holm, uh, we need to figure out some kind of tool to plant these things with. And so he sent Joe Holm out to the machine shop to uh, figure out some kind of a tool. So Holm took a big double bit axe and uh, cut off one side of it with a torch and then welded it back together sideways and came up with a tool that looked somewhat like this where he had cut off one side of the axe and welded it on sideways. Well that was their tool for planting trees and they he milled, I don't know how many he made but several and that was the beginning of the Pulaski tool. Joe Holm actually created it, but Ranger Ed was the district ranger, so he got his name on it. Well, you're looking at over a dozen Pulaskis here, and each one is different. Uh, the different smoke jumpers from different bases have to have their own. <laughs> Not so anymore since the uh, standardized tools order came out. But uh, here's how the smoke jumpers of Missoula had their Pulaski look. They sawed it off, welded an adz blade on it. Well, the smoke jumpers at Redmond, Oregon weren't going to have it done like Missoula boys, so they had a rounded adz blade after they cut off the, the ads and well it back on. Well, the smoke jumpers in McCall, Idaho weren't gonna have anything like them, so they, they had their own. <laughs> they all modified. And so on. Or Winthrop, Washington, same thing.
Here's the winter one, smaller handle. The fire warden for the Clearwater Timber Protective Association down at Oral Fino decided he wanted a root cutter on his Pulaski. And the different companies had their own little modifications to make it look different standard. This is the Warren Company. It had straight edge here where Kelly had the rounded edge like this early, early one here. Yeah. And I don't know where this one came from. <laughs> That's an oddball. But they're all derived from the pick handle. The regular pick that uh, Kelly Tool made. So Kelly Tool came out in 1920 was the first. So it never became a fire tool until 10 years after it was invented. And it's found on every every fire rig today yet. So the Pulaski tool is the tool of wildland fire yet today. And this one up here was the this funny looking thing here. That's a wedge driver if you're going to be falling trees. Somebody sawed that blade off and welded a bar on the side of it. So. Well, that's pretty much the story of the Pulaski. Invented in 19, the winter of 1910-11 to be used as a tree planting tool. Backfires burning out. Drip um, torches. Drip torches. And they hold a mixture of gasoline and diesel fuel. Fire tool cache. We had these at sawmills, uh, cooperator ranchers, uh, volunteer fire departments out in the woods. And everywhere we had co-op firefighters that we would pay on demand only when we had a fire. And they were filled with tools for 10, ten firefighters. And it was the job of the, the local fire warden to make sure that uh, it was always up and ready. And it had all these tools in it. Uh, shovels, Pulaski's, adds hose, Indian pump can. A two-man crosscut saw was strapped in here. Uh, backfire fusees, four-gallon canteens, or uh, no, half-gallon canteens, water bags, 10-man first aid kit, compass, protractor, maps, and that's it. And then uh, they were they were secured with a seal like they used to use on box cars. This was Washington State Forestry. You just insert that in there and locks it. And that's how we secured these boxes. And uh, they never walked away back in, in the earlier days when we did this. People respected it.